In collaboration with Dr. Bergsagel, that is a physician here at the Mayo Clinic, we have developed a novel transgenic model of multiple myeloma uh, that we believe recapitulate all the main genetic and physiological features of the human disease. Uh, the mice develop an intramedullary non-proliferative plasma cell expansion and also display anemia, bone disease and uh, uh, renal disease as myeloma patients often do. Uh, we started recently to use these mice to try to understand drug response in patients. Uh, we started by testing the efficacy of non-antimyeloma drug in these mice and we found, not surprisingly, that proteasome inhibitor and alkylator, malphalan, cyclophosphamide, are very effective in uh, um, killing tumor cells in these mice. Uh, we also tested drugs that we know are inactive in patients in these mice. And we found that, uh, for example, vincristine, hydroxyurea, fludarabine, are not working in this model. What is interesting here is that these three last three drugs I mentioned um, are shown to be active against myeloma cell line. So what I think is important here is that by having a mouse model that is non-proliferative, like real myeloma tumor are, they, of course they proliferate a little bit, but in comparison to other disease like Burkitt lymphoma, they are considered very indolent. So the novelty of this observation is that for the first time we have a model that predicts which drugs are not going to work. And I think uh, this uh, happens because we have a model that is non-proliferative. When it tests drug activity in uh, myeloma cell line or xenograft mice, uh, we are testing the anti-proliferation activity of this drug. For example, vincristine, if we look at all the MTT data published using cell line, is predicted to be a very active drug because it's very effective at very low concentration in uh, uh, inhibiting proliferation of the cell line. The reality is that myeloma tumor, myeloma tumor are indolent. They are not as proliferative as a cell line or as many other tumor in comparison. So by being able to assess uh, anti-tumor activity in a way that is independent on proliferation, I think is a very important point. So we, we extended the analysis of uh, um, various drugs into this mouse model, and we found that uh, the HDAC inhibitors, Vorinostat and Panobinostat, are particularly effective in these mice. Uh, however, we tested other drug, class of drugs, PI3 kinase inhibitor, Aurora kinase inhibitors, and other, and other classes of drugs, and we found that they are not effective in uh, killing tumor cells as single agent. We then decide, based on this uh, initial observation, to explore uh, the activity of drugs in combination. We took two of the most active drugs, bortezomib, and the HDAC inhibitors, panobinostat and vorinostat, and we tested their activity in the context of a mouse that we made bortezomib resistance. We found surprisingly that while bortezomib alone or the HDAC inhibitors alone did not work in this very aggressive bortezomib resistant mouse, the combination of this agent was really effective in killing tumor cells. Uh, I know that clinical trials of bortezomib and HDAC inhibitors are ongoing. Uh, s there are anecdotal good response of serving patients, but I think the result obtained in these mice uh, suggests that this combination therapy may be particularly effective in, in those advanced myeloma patients that are refractory to bortezomib. We are very excited about um, this uh, preliminary result, and I think in the long term, the use of this mouse would really help to prioritize which drug should be further pursued and should enter clinical trials, and which drug perhaps should be abandoned based on their inactivity on this mouse model. 
obviously the implication I believe are, are, uh, are very big because uh, right now we have no way to predict which drugs are going to be active or not without running very long and very extensive clinical trials. So by just testing their activity in these mice alone or in combination, I think we have a, we have a way of uh, it, at least decide which drug to prioritize and which drug to abandon.